Kyanite. Kyanite's a blue silicate mineral which forms under high temperature, high pressure conditions. It is resistant to the heat up to 1100 degrees Celsius and is thermoelectric, making it a valuable component for thermal power plants. Assessment, essential for advanced fabrication. I scan some, oh yeah, the, the Reaper Leviathan skeleton. Reapers are ill-suited to high temperature environments, suggesting this creature was forced down into the active lava zone by conditions outside its control. Trace muscle tissue remains on the bones, indicating the specimen died in recent months. Burns and other physical damage to the skeletal structure likely became prey for something bigger. Damn. Is the indication here that the other creature can survive down here? Is it the three? Is it, okay, so it is, it is a sea dragon. That's the same face. I was wondering. I didn't want to just call it a sea dragon unless I was sure, but that's that's what I'm seeing up top. It's got the arm, it's got the face, the divots above its nose, the bunch of eyes. That's a pretty recognizable skeleton. So the sea dragons grab uh, Reaper Leviathans and just drag them down here, basically, and then they die in the lava zone, more or less. That's what it seems like. It seems like they're forced down here and they die. <clears throat> or at least they're probably a lot easier to kill if they can't survive here normally. Hmm. And they just feed off of it and eat it. I mean, that this this thing is bigger than that thing, isn't it? And it's got straight up arms, giving it a bit of an advantage at manipulation in the ocean. Hmm. And this is the one that died from crashing into the thing. Yeah. It's that that's that was the that's the sea dragon that destroyed the alien facility upstairs. All right. Keep poking around. What's the new blueprint? Oh, the blue tablet, right. Two kyanite and an iron cube. Pretty pretty basic. All right. Straightforward enough. I'll save that for last. I'm spooked out about that a little bit. Do you aggro on me or what? That's external, right? I forgot. It said limited defensive capabilities. It still means defensive capabilities. It probably isn't very de de uh, dangerous. It's probably a lot, a lot like the uh, other spider-like creatures in this game, which all are kind of lame. But I, so far, it's not even aggroing on me. Look at him. Look at the little guy. What if they attack me now? Because I opened that. Oh. How dangerous is it around here? That's arcing electricity. Uh, we'll see, I guess. Alien thermal plant, full scan. I can hear them constantly, but I can't see them. Let's get to the top and see what we can grab up there. I kind of want to get out of the immediate range of the electricity. Yep. Since it's arcing between them. It's probably cosmetic, but still. Hey there. Ion power. Let's get out of here. Get away from the noise pollution of the crackling electricity. That's a cool visual, though.
And thank you for not attacking me, guy. Very polite to me. Like to just back up. Whoop. Yeah, every time I do that, it's like it's loading in or something. The weird little moment of popping. Okay, let's see here. So, new blueprints said ion batteries. Ion battery. And it uses an ion cube. Oh. Gold and silver ore. Ion power cell. Two ion batteries and silicon rubber. That's a... Yeah. A power cell is also just two ion batteries and silicon rubber. rubber. It's just... They're consistent there, I guess. Huh. I mean, it's easy to make. I have those things. Gold, silver, and ion cubes. I'm limited by however many ion cubes I have. I'd be a little worried about running out of ion cubes because I need it to make the tablets if I ever need to make the tablets. Although I think... I don't think I've ever had to make a tablet. I think I always have enough tablets no matter what. So maybe we're good regardless. Maybe if you just explore enough, you always have enough tablets and they just gave you a way to build more if you need them. But yeah, I don't think there's a way to get more... <clears throat> there's a way to... I don't think there's a way to get more of these. The, besides what they, whatever they give me, I guess. There's a lot of components in a reactor rod. I do want to make a nuclear reactor just to look at it, basically. That's... That's... Hubris of man summarized, isn't it? <laughs> I want to make a, a nuclear reactor just because I want to look at it. Uh, but these are easy enough to make. I, I'm guessing it's just a... Just a power, yeah, high capacity. It just says it's just says infused alien technology. I assume it's better, is the premise. So that'd be good for my ship. Although it invalidates my entire current collection of power cells if I wanted to switch over. That said, I'm doing fine right now. So it might not be the biggest deal. Getting ion batteries though for like my my sea glide and stuff would be nice. Hmm. Yeah, that's that. I was trying to go through the notes of what they said to figure out what they mean here. It's significant. The volcanic uh, rock which is formed in this area can be carbon dated between 800 and 3000 Earth years ago. That's a nice little reference to how volcanism works there. It's all new rock, which is significant. Because uh, that's that's how that's how it goes. Uh, that's like by by rock standards. That's incredibly young rock, basically, and that's because that's it's all volcanic. It's just it's new. Uh, if I remember correctly, the, a lot of the earth, a lot of the oldest rock on Earth, if I, if I remember correctly, is actually a lot of the stuff that's on the uh, on the continents. It's it's all uprisen. Because uh. I, don't know, I could be getting this really wrong a little bit, but uh, I know that m much of the ocean floor is often almost homogeneously like a lot of basalt and it moves quickly and so on. Not quickly, quickly. I'm just going to misrepresent a bunch of shit for people today. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like it makes sense. This is all relatively young rock because it's from a we're in a volcano area. Yeah, that's specific. That's important right there. Facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. That's not what you said. Huh. The voices and subtitles disagree on things. So sh the voice says 1.4 kilometers. It's 1,400 meters down. We're like 1,200 now. So only 200 more meters down. Not that big of a deal. Apparently there's an entrance to it south-southeast from here. So going even deeper, I'll find the primary alien facility, which we've been fa we've been waiting to find that. I was because the game I'm supposed to be able to go even deeper to find a place. Uh, data downloads, codes and clues. It's listed here too, but yeah, the uh, yeah we're looking for sanctuary A, sanctuary B, offsite labor laboratory, and primary containment facility. I believe that's what was referenced in the... When we were in the caves that are above us right now, that's what was referenced there. Is we were looking for that place to find the Sea Emperor. It was designed specifically for the Sea Emperor, wasn't it? That was the whole point of the whole facility? 
primary containment facility. A power router in the, in the thermal plant is distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on the planet. Primary containment facility location updated. Constructed within a natural chasm. Connected to this cave network. South, southeast. Area of volcanic activity. Depth 1.4 kilometers. Power distribution. Self warping quarantine enforcement units 5%. Oh boy, they're still there. So that's warpers. Arch network 10%. Sanctuaries Alpha, Beta, Kappa 10%. So those are the sanctuaries I've heard about. Quarantine enforcement platform 35%. Disease research facility is offline. Primary containment facility, 20%. Reserve, 20%. There's no clear way to interrupt the power flow. So one third of all power goes to the laser that we're trying to stop. Hmm. That's, so that's not local. Because that was just mentioned, I thought it was local, but no, it, that's a... Uh, this is a bit of a mixed message, actually. This is the primary containment facility message. This is the power distribution of this facility, which is not called the primary containment facility. This is an unrelated piece of data that should probably be in its own document and not under that heading, because this is about the uh, the thermal plant. This is th this should be in a separate document that says thermal plant power distribution, if they want to have headings that make any sense, really. Uh... So it's saying 5% of all of the power overall goes there. See, because it's listed under this, I thought that meant they were saying that that's how much I'm going to have to deal with those guys down there when I go further. But they're just talking about the entire planet, or this entire operation, whatever its scale is. So it, sends it spends 10% of power on these portals, 5% on the, the enemies I have to fight, one third of it's on just that one problem. I don't know what the sanctuaries are? And it's not using all its power. It can it can adjust around a little bit. It has more ion power data. It has been possible to extract useful information regarding alien ion power. Ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral sub substance and are treated to remain in a stable state despite the huge ionic energy contained within. By installing an ion cube in an appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Using this knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints, which leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer. Alien thermal plant. The system is directly converting local thermal energy into electrical currents at 90% efficiency. Most of this electricity is being stored in the battery-like devices within the plant itself, each of which holds enough power to... Enough to power a small city for a year. Some of it, however, is being drained off, presumably as it is distributed to other facilities on the planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and, given current understanding of the mechanisms involved, uninterruptible. Hmm. I'm curious, because... It must be super efficient and powerful, because this is not a very big facility, and it's film. It's apparently uh, somehow uh, sending energy to all of the other ones? Unless there's a bunch of these in here. There might be more of them in here besides just this one, but it feels like this is the only one. And if this is the only one, then damn, it's, uh, it's pretty effective then. Because the uh, the quarantine platform itself is huge. Like, that's the first facility we went to, and I think it's still the longest one by a fair bit. But even the quarantine place was pretty big. This place is tiny by comparison. So maybe there's more to it, like there's more chunks of it here and there or something. I'm not sure what to think. I'm still avoiding saving, because I don't want to... I'm worried that something might happen to the Seamoth while I'm gone. Like, it gets glitched through a wall because the Sea Dragon decides to fly into it. I'm gonna have to scan that, aren't I? Eh. Uh, what does this do? I hate portals, because I don't know where they're gonna, put, they're gonna spit me out. Like... They're probably not mean. They're probably not gonna kick me out directly into a threat, right? Where am I? Whoa, wait. 92 meters. Where are we? We're at the surface. Look at the HQ over there.
This is familiar. Is this the alien enforcement pro uh, platform? Do I have a surface teleport that skips the cave system? Yeah, that's the doomsday device. I remember you. I haven't been here for a while. Hey, I can go eat real quick. <laughs> if I go to the surface. Wow, I was just talking about how massive this place is and then it warps me directly here. I'm on the surface. I can make my alien I can go make my alien reactor if I want to. I don't really want to though. I have to go all the way there. Uh oh, you're the thing that checks whether or not I'm infected. I don't want to get stabbed right now, no thank you. Okay, so we're done exploring this facility then. So that's important news. If I come here, I can teleport back to the surface. Without my Cyclops, is the issue. Uh, that's one issue. It probably makes the most sense just to do the very... I'm, not, I'm glad I left that there so I could find my way back. Look, tree base, 2,000 meters. Don't die. 1,400 meters. That's closer, actually. Interesting to think about, isn't it? That's clearly higher up, but it's just further in that direction, so... The tree that's not as deep down is way further away than the Don't Die, which is just... Almost directly under me, actually? Its depth is 1200 meters, and it's only like 40, yeah, 1450. So it's very straight down. It was good to it was good to come in with my vehicle so I could find my way back to Oh, let's not jump off. Gotta remember we're not in water. <laughs> that does not go well. Whee! See wow, even that, huh? Not really though, it's like if I took any damage, it's not visible. I think I fully explored this place the first time around, so there's nothing left to get. I need to book it back to the Cyclops to eat. And drink. Mostly drink. Okay, good to know. When I get back to my... Why am I going this way? Whoops. When I get back to my ship, I think I'm gonna make a beacon that points at this place. The thermal plant. I might as well have something that tells me where it is. Both be mainly because it it's a way to teleport to the surface. It's a little iffy, though. I can teleport to the surface, but it, whatever I want to do... I'd have to... I'd have to get all the way back to my base. I don't know, I, I might do it. It, was, it could save some time on some level, arguably. I'm iffy about the whole thing. The main thing is that I could, uh... I could use my Sea Glide to get back to my base. And my base is where my Sea Moth is. My Sea Moth should be in my HQ. And if my Seamoth is in my HQ, then I can use my Seamoth to get around on the surface, like the old days. So anything I need to do on the surface, I could do for there without having to teleport. Without having, having to navigate all the way back. It's just... It might be nicer to just put in the grunt work and navigate all the way back so I don't have to worry about finding everything. Please don't warp for me. There we go. No warpering today. Cool. They, don't, they shouldn't chase me this far. If they, even, which I don't think they even aggroed. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing to think about later. Is is uh, how I want to handle surface navigation. No, stop. He goes through my attack. By the way, he just keeps coming. He is not... He is not run away at first. Like, the stalker runs away way faster. I, I took some more damage. If, there's two interpretations. One, they gave me access to the surface so that I can go back more easily if I forgot something I need. Or two, I'm gonna have to go back to the surface. To do something. Actually, no. It doesn't matter whether or not they give me a surface task or not, because I have to go back to the surface no matter what, because that's how you use your rocket ship that you're building to leave. Which I can definitely build more of by now, huh?
I'll drill for a little bit. Probably should not be doing this, honestly. You know what? Fuck it, I'm out. I don't want to drill when that thing's nearby. I didn't really hear it. I didn't really hear it, but... I don't know. It could be nearby. And I really don't want to be surprised by that thing. Alright, I'm back. This thing's safe. Saving. Ha. Ah, sigh of relief and all that. And I got a new thing for my alien stuff box. Yay. Oh yeah, I should have put the key... I should have put that one egg in here because that's technically alien stuff. That's the logic I used before. That's why there's multiple other eggs in there. <clears throat> that makes more sense. As much as anything really needs to make sense. It's filling up now. Alright. Got a bunch of ion cubes and one blue tablet. We have no orange and no purple. We'll see if I need any more though. I'm not really in a hurry to deal with the whole ion battery thing right now. Battery-wise, I'm doing okay most of the time. 68%. Did it go away? Oh, hey. The one that I chopped off actually stayed away. Cool. How you guys doing? You're at a 0%. 0% 0 batteries get replaced. Close enough. You burn through these things. <clears throat> Definitely the reason why I made more. Otherwise I would have to constantly make bases that can recharge them. Like all over the place. Or constantly go on, revert on return trips. Signs. Neither of them's a great option. Alright, we're all fixed up. Healthy. Pictures. Pictures. You're such a pretty game. That's more like where we are right now. Do do do. I've never, I haven't explained uh, commoner jointing in this particular uh, playthrough, have I? I'm at a fitting location to explain it, more or less. It's uh, created when lava pools. They're called basalt columns, alternatively, and the, so like that's the interesting thing is that the this 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 and this are likely of all basically equal composition. Maybe not this one. I haven't even played this game. Uh, it might just be a game that is hexagonal for the sake of it. It's just an image that I like. But I played the top three and not the bottom two. Where that one's clearly volcanic in nature. Uh, and that's clearly rock, you can tell. It's even weathered and everything. This is a really good image. And it's such an old game, so I don't know how they even... Like, that's... that's cr I'm, I'm amazed by how good some old stuff can look sometimes. But, uh, it's... Uh, but, uh, Columnar jointing is the structural description, and basalt columns is more the more, I don't know, all-encompassing description or whatever. Basically, lava will pool, and then it will cool very slowly. Like, instead of the lava flowing somewhere, it will, if you just let a pool of lava cool down slowly, uh, what happens is that the surface tension of the lava, the magma, whatever, it will reduce over time as it cools down, it'll contract. And as it contracts, the surface... Actually, I should have said, should have said the surface tension increases over time, not decreases. Uh, I meant to say the surface the surface itself decreases. Uh, the, the, uh, the rock contracts as it cools. Uh, and how do you deal with a rock contracting? Like, how's it, how's it gonna handle its space? Like, it, it has to, by its very nature, take up less space, but how does it do that? So as the surface tension increases, what happens is that the rock just cracks. And because it's such an even, uh, homogenous pool of magma, 
when it when it cools down and contracts, it when it when it's time for it to crack, it cracks in these really regular geometric patterns because it's just so homogeneous. So it's actually almost identical to the process that creates uh, mud cracks. So if you see a, a if, if you have like a pond that that uh, evaporates and reduces over time, or a, a or a river that only sometimes like like a, a shallow river that only sometimes flows and sometimes goes away, the mud that's nor that is left behind will will dry up and crack, and so those mud cracks you see are formed by a really similar process, which is that the the surface tension just causes geometric patterns to emerge when it cr when it retracts, and cracks. And that's how these columns are made. And these images are all here because I've been collecting images of them. So like if you look at my if you look at my YouTube profile or my Twitter profile, there's a link to an imager uh, album that's just like a hundred of these basically. Just a, every, each one's a different video game. And a couple of animes and a couple of television shows, but mostly video games. Just showing this obsession with this rock formation because it's in everything so often so i end up calling it the wilhelm screen of a scream of level design it fills a similar ish role i already emptied this right but yeah that's why there's a weird photo gallery of that stuff in here i figured i should explain that for all the new people you gotta periodically re-explain these things because when you have a growing channel then that means that each time you talk about these things somebody's hearing it for the first time okay so you gave me a direction to check oh wait first of all never mind before I do anything else, let's set up the beacon. I want to be able to find this place again. What's that? Oh, the blue tablet. And the power, the power cells, yeah. I have not used the, the grab trap much. I can recognize part of why it's useful, it's just it seems like a cruel item to use. So I usually just don't want to use it. I don't want to just abandon this thing that just gravity traps a bunch of things. If it had a, if it had a power button, it'd be kind of nice. I'd like to be able to turn it on and off, but no, you have to manually deploy it and ma and then retract it and stuff like that. There we go, alien thermal plant. So that'll be on my map. I'll even set it to red. But yeah, when I was eating fish more, I might have used that to rally fish to quickly chop up and eat if they made it easier for me. But I didn't want to leave it on all the time because it would terrorize the rabbit rays and they would just starve to death. That's not implemented mechanically, but they would functionally be guaranteed to starve to death because of the fact that the, uh, just what they were left to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn off Alien Thermal Plant for now because I have no real use for it. I'll leave Tree Base on in case I have some reason to like flee towards it or something. Yeah, like I didn't. I felt bad about the idea of leaving it on because it would like suck up the the rabbit rays and they would just be, they would presumably starve at that point because they couldn't go anywhere. <clears throat> and I like the rabbit rays, but if it had a little power button where I could turn it on and off without having to manually put it in my inventory to get rid of it then I'd be much more likely to use it for that kind of stuff. But then before long I discovered Bulbo Trees, or more accurately I discovered the ability to take the Bulbo Trees out of the island they're from, and then all other f food and water concerns pretty much left the game from that point forward. Alright, so which direction do I need to go in? I, everything's pretty upgraded so I can thankfully just keep going. Uh, data downloads... Codes and clues? Yeah. Trying to distinguish between alien data and codes and clues is a little bit of a thing. I guess the idea is just these are the ones that are actually helping me find things, and that's just lore is the difference. <clears throat> south, southeast. Okay. So, south, southeast. Basically the direction I'm facing right now. South, southeast. 